Oh, hello there. I didn't see you come in. Welcome to Prison Architect Perfect Storm, the brand new surprise DLC for Prison Architect. It'd be a bit strange if it was for anything else. Dropping as you're watching this video right now, a brand new surprise available for you to purchase down in the description and the links below. Now, if you haven't guessed already, this video is, of course, sponsored by Paradox Interactive. However, the joke is on them because I would have played it anyway. <laughs> Don't tell them I said that. Now, as any of you who have watched this channel for more than five minutes will know, I only take sponsorships for games that I do genuinely play, which is why in the thousands of videos that have gone up on this channel, only about six of which have been sponsored. Please help me, my family is starving. However, Prison Architect, I think, has become one of those games that is in my, my repertoire of games that I will repeatedly come back to. And this DLC, I feel like, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, here with you, Paradox, I feel targeted by this DLC. Any of you who have watched my previous playthroughs of Prison Architect will know that if I decide I can do something even slightly better, I am the type of person who will restart to make that prison even more perfect, to round off the edges, so to speak. And now, now I'm in a lot of trouble. Now this DLC adds a bunch of new content, as you can kind of see on the left-hand panel there, but I will sum it up a lot better than that ever could. Otherwise, they probably wouldn't pay me. So we're going to go ahead and dive into a very standard prison here because this DLC it's chaos it's chaos well it's chaos when I'm in control a competent player would probably probably find it a very nice challenge a very nice change of pace uh for me it's ju it's just pure chaos we're, we're gonna suffer I'm going to keep things very simple and keep everything more or less basic with the exception of one feature of this DLC that I know everybody is looking forward to what new guard dogs are available because of course with uh with the last two DLC that we've done on the channel both of those have included a new type of dog. Now, this one is no exception. Not only, my friends, do you get one new dog. You do not only get two new dogs, but you also get some new dog-based features, which you might not want enabled, I'll be completely honest with you, but I'll show you that in one second. So, we have the choice of Shiba Inu, the internet's darling dog child, or Black Setters. I will go for the Shiba Inu, because I know some of you will never forgive me. Now, if you cast your eyes over to the right-hand side of this folder, you will notice a few new options. The most glaring of which, in my opinion, are the weather and intensity options and the words rat infestation. Now, if there's one thing this channel is good at, that is chaos. So, of course, we're going to keep both of those on high settings. However, because I think it will be far more glorious for this person to go down in a blaze of glory, I'm going to disable most of the other challenges so that I can build the greatest prison possible, and then the game gets a much bigger target to knock down and make me cry with. Oh, that other dog feature that I mentioned is, um, is this one here. Dogs will have a small calamity of their own, providing an additional job for cleaners. <laughs> and of all the ways to reveal a feature, I don't know if Paradox ever intended me to do it via the means of, uh, doggy doo-doo. Okay then, so, um, take two. I'm starting with a loan of half a million dollars this time because my previous prison melted. The doors literally melted. Yeah, it's, it's happening again. It's happening all over again. I'm getting deja vu. Now, as I was beginning to explain with a uh, dog-based calamity, this DLC has quite a few weather calamities. In this case, it is once again so warm, our doors are melting. Now, I think what is a far more sensible idea, rather than me just free-falling into a spiral here whenever we're faced with a calamity, is probably to go through the perfect storm tab and go through it one by one. And in hindsight, what might even be a Better idea than that is uh, opening the prison for business. So I'll take you for a quick tour of the prison, then we'll get ourselves opened up, ready for the game to very succinctly shut us back down again. So we have the reception at the very top right-hand side of the prison, leading into some very fetching offices, a staff room, and a big empty room that eventually I'll put something in when we've got the research for it. We have our holding cell, which is where our prisoners will be taken, of course, before being let out into the yard. The yard itself divides off into the common room, the canteen, and a bunch of holding cells. And I went out of my way to give us a little more room to build extra things as we need it and to plan out a few buildings ahead of time. So this is eventually going to be the infirmary, which will probably be very relevant given some of the things we're going to be up against here. And now that these loyal workers have worked tirelessly through that heat wave to deliver us to the prison that we need to get started here, I'm going to do the most ethical thing and fire all of them. <laughs> okay, maybe not all of them, but enough so that we can actually hire our warden for a start, and then maybe a couple of cooks, 
guard probably wouldn't hurt, given that this is a prison after all. Hello! Hello, welcome! Come in! Wipe your feet. Uh, please wipe your feet. I can't afford cleaners. And there you have it. One very standard, normally operating prison where absolutely nothing could possibly go wrong. Wow. Okay, and I took that personally. Oh, a severe thunderstorm, you say? I sure hope this doesn't have any impact on our power... power grid. <laughs> so maybe now is a very appropriate time to start going through some of these weather effects and how they impact our prison. First one, deep freeze. While experiencing the severe cold, many parts of the prison become frosty and completely frozen. Prisoners will also have a higher chance of becoming ill and extreme cases frozen themselves. It's always best to have grip boxes available and have utility items in your prison properly insulated and to have a good level of medical support on hand. Then, of course, the one we're having to deal with right now, the lightning storm. Storms can interfere with electrical items, as we can very clearly see right now. Cause damage and fires if only lightning falls, destroy full areas of your prison, and could even kill people in extreme cases. You'll need to... Was that guard just hit by lightning? Hello? The most dangerous thing about a storm is the lightning, with both objects and people of danger for being struck. <laughs> you know your luck's ran out when the doctor carrying you back to the hospital also gets hit by lightning. That's incredible. Oh, I mean, probably, probably not for the doctor in that situation. Lightning rods. Okay, lightning rods are, are, are a great call. Maybe we should look into that. Redirect and safely absorb lightning strikes outdoor only. So we want to put this anywhere where we want our people to... Preferably not get hit by lightning, so I'm going to put one right there in the middle of the yard. I think probably covering the deliveries area too isn't a bad idea. I think with that, we should be more or less lightning proof, at least for the prison that we've got. Okay, the lightning's passed. Lights are back on. Now we can get on with doing a little more research. Heat waves can be very dangerous. Keep an eye on your prisoners and staff, because if they become dehydrated in the heat, things can become critical. You should also be careful of fires occurring around the prison, the road becoming damaged, and even keep an eye on the metal around the prison. Like all of those nice jail doors we have. Yeah, I've, I've already suffered from that one, thank you. And then we have the rat infestation. Although a dirty prison makes your inmates unhappy, it makes rats extremely happy. Be careful of them scurrying around the comment section as they can- Oh, sorry. As they can make your prisoners sick, help themselves to your stored food, and chew their way through cables and fences. To keep the rats away, make sure that the prison is always clean and that any tunnels are removed as quickly as possible. Again, I think I've, I've once again nailed that. With our current cash flow, yeah, I could probably afford to hire one or two gardeners. What, what's wrong? Oh, reoffending fines. Oh, well... Okay, yeah, that's my bad. Oh, not the foreman again. Every time you call me, something bad happens. Congratulations on hand of the calamity. Now you won't have to worry about this calamity recurring for at least 10 days. Good news. Oh, well, in that case, I guess we'll sell the lightning rods. Huh? No, obviously, obviously, I'm not going to sell the lightning rods. Not the foreman again. I'm going to block your number. Whenever you call me up, you only have bad news. Looks like the prison has some subsidence issues. Be sure to place some rebar reinforcement on your structures to keep them from falling. Oh, my prison, my prison is sinking. Hold on a second. Subsidence slash rat damaged. You're telling me the rats are going to break down the perimeter wall. You know, the thing designed to contain high security prisoners. The hell kind of rats are we gonna be up against? Um, chef? Are you okay? <laughs> just kinda, just kinda hanging out there in the desert, minding their own business. That's fine. Hello? No, the warden isn't here right now. I can't take any more bad news. I think I've just seen a rat. Perhaps we should invest in some form of deterrent. Yeah, how about I close the prison? Where is that? <gasps> there it is! Oh, I mean, it is. I mean, it is adorable, though, isn't it? What do, you, what do you want me to do? Are we supposed to chase it? Go get that rat. Give it to me straight, Doc. What's the prognosis? It's now an infestation. If the numbers aren't reduced, it's only a matter of time before they pass the disease on to uh, prisoners. Okay. That escalated very quickly. I think there's only one way we can deal with this rat problem. Bring in the snipers. Okay, well, maybe snipers are slightly overkill here, but we do have the staff training and equipment option. Staff will be able to learn new skills to allow them to use specialized equipment, such as fire extinguishers, which I, I suppose you could fight a rat with, sure. Grip bins, and more importantly, rat traps, as well as fixing damaged electrical cables. We could turn the rats into a hearty stew. Maybe that's an option. Oh, there he goes. Well, what is that? Why are you stinky? You got rat disease? 
It's just standing there laughing at me. Such a shame, because this prison would be just so perfect otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's look into some rat catching there. Let's go into staff programs. And in here we have pest control training. I think that's pretty worthwhile. We do need a training room for that. Cold control training. Staff will learn how to deal with areas affected by frost, allowing them to remove some areas of ice and dealing with frozen items. To be honest, all of these seem very useful to have. The first aid training is very good for... Well, any of the problems that we might face thanks to this. And then, of course, the fire safety training is good with the with the heat waves, with the lightning storms. We'll start with the... What is that? Angry bin bag. Oh, someone's got contraband. Hey, got enough on my plate already with the rat problem. Let's go for pest control then. Well, we can't go for pest control. We need, we, we need to actually build the facility for that first. Oh, no. <laughs> There's faulty wiring here. As the doctor runs in to try and save them, the doctor's getting zapped. And then people are coming over to try and fix the wiring. They're getting zapped. Oh, chief, please don't shout at me. There are rumors coming from the plot that inmates are observing rats to find areas that might be easier to tunnel. Absolute nightmare. Congratulations on handling this calamity. Yeah, no, you're right, janitor. No, you're right. This is fine. I've got a pile of doctors and workmen in this prison cell. <laughs> the rats, the rats are chewing through everything. Faster than I can keep up. Rats. Trap. Here we go. Every room in the prison. Sonic rat deterrent. This is all out rat warfare at this point. I've taken every anti-rat precaution possible. As you can see, it, it, it really has worked. <laughs> maybe, maybe more cleaners. Who could have possibly guessed that hiring more people to clean the place up might have led to the place being a tad bit cleaner. Now I have to train our people on how to use the rat traps because the rats are just sitting <laughs> in the traps and nobody knows what to do with it, apparently. So we need a rat trap, a first aid station, and a grip bin just so we can teach them how to use it. To be honest, a rat trap probably wouldn't hurt in here anyway. You know, because the rats are absolutely everywhere. Now we teach all of the staff how to fight the rats. Forget the prisoners, forget the security. Rats come first, 24 in queue. Get everybody going. Go, start, just just queue them all up. Look at them all sat out there. Just as I start to make real progress in the war against these rats, winter kicks in. Please, no more rats. I can't handle this anymore. What a dystopia. <laughs> just fields of rats in cages. I failed. I, I failed, let the rats take the prison. I mean, there is an alternative, of course. We, I, I could have probably saved a small fortune by, uh, we're just calling up pest control. That certainly would have saved a lot of time. Wow, it... It really was that easy, huh? Oh, this looks good. Hello. Shower heads freeze very easily, and there's not much we can do to stop it from happening. Hopefully the showers that are still in good working order will suffice. Foreman? You're in a lot of trouble. Officer Keen, hello. The only good thing about this weather is it's going to slow down anybody planning to dig their way out of here. It's the foreman again. Section of the pipe work are frozen solid. <laughs> If they don't have any insulation, they're likely to freeze a lot quicker when the temperature drops. Yeah. Yeah, it certainly does look like that, huh? Our prisoner's cells are actually turning into ice cubes right now. The roads are getting dangerous. Any vehicles passing by the prison are going to have to travel much slower until conditions improve. Maybe advisable to hire emergency maintenance to improve the situation. Oh. All of my sweet, precious profits. Gotta spend it all on rat proofing and... Frost proofing, heat proofing. <sighs> Maybe this game just needs me proofing at this point. Now is a good time to clarify. This was never meant as a tutorial. <laughs> but I'm sure you've probably picked up on that by now. Janitors should be able to lay down grit when properly trained. Well, Mr. Foreman, I spent all this time training the janitors in how to chase rats around the prison. I have hired a uh, <laughs> road maintenance truck right now because I thought that's probably the best we can do. Air pest control? What is that, like Batman? It's the chief. I'm fired, aren't I? Guards on patrol like doors are reporting visibility issues. They can't spot prisoners too far ahead. Can't spot them under a sea of rats. <laughs> oh, good lord. I'm gonna retire. Substantial flooding due to a burst pipe? I can't see this subsiding anytime soon unless there's a way you can pump the water out. It's okay, we've got a drain. No, that's fine. Don't worry about it. And actually, a burst pipe just means they can have a shower faster. Just go in, roll around on the floor for a bit. You're done. We're saving on the or we're saving on the shower costs, really. Wow, this really is the worst prison anybody has ever built, huh? 
I was I was thoroughly unprepared. I mean, I knew what I was getting into. I knew what was going to happen. We'll put it on high. Put the infestations on high. Put the weather effects on high, he said. I'm all about chaos. This entire channel is about chaos. I have made mods for other Paradox games entirely based on chaos. The, the, the problem with that is, you know, some of those other games I'm competent at. <laughs> I'm going to choose to take this as a challenge. I think it's fairly safe to say at this stage, we've seen the effects of a deep freeze. Our doctors especially felt the effects of the lightning storm. The heat wave melted the doors of my first prison so badly I had to restart and the rats, I, I, I had to call for help. And as hell very literally freezes over, this is probably a great time to mention that there is also going to be a tower update, which is independent of the DLC itself. That is the thing that adds the two new guard dogs. It adds a few new features like uh, being able to adjust the duration of visitation. Lots of quality of life stuff as well. Say snipers, for example, now have access to a non-lethal option. And it adds a bunch of new items. Even if you go back to like last year when we were playing Prison Architects on the channel, the amount of extra stuff that this game has had since then is... <laughs> kind of staggering, to be honest. And to give my two cents on it as a totally not professional uh, uh, video game influencer, I like what they're doing with the DLC for this game. Uh, completely irrespective of... Uh, of course, I'm biased because I've been sponsored and whatnot. But I am always a big advocate of different play styles more over than just more substance for a thing that already exists. And the past few DLC, the, the Going Green DLC... I wasn't a massive fan of, but I at least appreciate the fact that that gave you a lot of new options for what you could do with the game. You know, you could focus on an entirely agricultural and green energy prison that came with its own kind of separate grants and schemes in that regard. The last DLC I thought was fantastic and really did flesh out a lot of the core systems, but again, gave you that alternate way to play with the rehabilitation, big risk versus big reward. I like that. This too is another way you could play it entirely. It could be you versus the environment. And you just happen to be running a prison in the background. Now, let me be clear. If you do that, and you want a dedicated prison architect player, maybe don't set it on high. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. I, I really do want to, as soon as we get a free slot, go for a full-on series where we combine all of these things. We've done a little playthrough where we did the going green stuff, of course. We did a little playthrough where we did the... Uh, we did the rehabilitation. We built the prison bakery, which was a lot of fun. I want to combine them all together because they do really do lend themselves well together. This weather system, of course, will have a massive impact if you are running a farm. And of course, if you're running your farm, you might not be able to get your, your ingredients for your greenery and your, your, your cooking or whatever else you're doing there. So all of these do turn together quite nicely. Chief, I'm going to be honest with you, pal. I'm blocking your number. Okay, between you and the foreman, I've had enough. What I want to be able to answer, but realistically, I can't answer now because there is just such a breadth of content with all of these expansions combined, is how do they all play together? So if you're interested in a full prison architect playthrough, more than happy to do that. More than happy to try and combine them all and see if we can use all of them in tandem with one another, see how the weather impacts the the farming systems, which in turn, of course, will affect your rehabilitation programs. I want to see quite what we can do with it. I think that could be a lot of fun, but I worry that might be quite frustrating to watch. <laughs> Only because I'll be very particular about it. I need a lot more practice before I'm willing to commit to that either way. But if you are interested, please do let me know because this is this is almost, you know, again, like one of those perfect games for the channel. Fits perfectly with other games that we frequently play on the channel uh, aesthetically and functionally. And it's just a game I enjoy, you know? So let me know and maybe that'll be something we come back to in the future. And I've said it before, but I will say it again. We're going to leave it here with hell having literally frozen over. I think I couldn't have built a worse prison if I tried. Oh, I, I won't lie. It wasn't that bad, okay? The rats very much threw everything for a loop there. You need to be a lot more careful, obviously, your foundational building now. Re-insulating your cables, making sure the pipes aren't just randomly thrown down, which is going to take me a little while to unlearn some bad habits from, from playing this game beforehand and being a little more laissez-faire with certain things. Thank you, of course to Paradox for not only sponsoring this episode, and as a reminder, you can check out Prison Architect, Perfect Storm, and the new update available at my links down 
in the description. Go and have a look at that, and that will let them know I have sent you to them. And everybody wins. And hopefully you win by playing a fun new expansion for a fun game. And maybe we'll be back soon. I, I, do, I do genuinely think I might bump this one up my, my to-do games list pretty significantly. And we'll, we'll take a little peek again in the future.